Bob's been driving my car again. For those that don't know, I am five foot three on a good day and I'm shrinking. <laughs> um, and Bob is six foot one. So when he drives my car, it requires a lot of readjustments of everything. It's about 9 15 a.m sunday morning march 6th don't get excited i'm in front of the ipad i'm having a little trouble getting going this morning this is my bathrobe sweater thing that i wear just fyi um i don't sleep well when bob's not home and consequently if i'm not home and he's here he doesn't sleep well we don't sleep well when we're apart from each other i think we've been together too long anyway um he should be home by about lunch and um I guess I better take a shower, do the dishes. It is Monday morning, March 7th. It's about 8.35 a.m. It is foggy as crap outside. <laughs> um, I'm headed over to the dentist. I have it's time to get my permanent crown installed, crown number six. So we're gonna go take care of that this morning. That's the only thing really on the agenda today, other than maybe doing some art and stuff and chores. Um, I should have probably grabbed my please don't squish me aka reflective straps but I didn't so we're gonna just be very cautious anyway because yeah it is that foggy out all right I'll be see the end of the street it's down there I promise I was gonna say let's go see if there's any water and or ducks in the pond but I can hear them hold on I think maybe he's sort of wondering why I haven't put any corn out in a while. Hey, Rocky. Of course, I do realize me feeding the wildlife does not help keep the coyotes at bay, but you know. Anyway, I came out the door and started filming, not to see the squirrel, <laughs> to just talk about my day. Um, so I got a lot of stuff done when I got home, including a couple journal pages and some Little embellishments I made inspired by an Instagram video I saw of someone doing some pen and ink work, I think in a planner, and I don't remember who it was and I stupidly didn't save the video, but I'll put a picture of said embellishments here and if you guys recognize the technique using brush pens for the most part, let me know whose Instagram that was because it might have been a company, it might have been a private artist, I have no idea. I only know I saw it twice. Neither time did I remember to save it, but you know. Anyway. just before lunch Tuesday March 8th um I don't think I've vlogged yet this morning anyway I just had a chill relaxing morning and came upstairs and did some computer work and then I took all of the little embellishments I made yesterday the brush pen these I scanned them turned them into a jpeg and printed them on sticker paper I
Got some more journal pages done, some embellishments made, and things like that. Rocky has been out here setting the security cameras off because he's been at the corn bowl. Hold on. He's just sitting on top of my neighbor's fence, probably eating said corn. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go check the mail, turn the computer off for the day. I need to do today's daily art practice. Um, so I'm gonna go inside after I get the mail. He's, sorry, distracted by the squirrel. Um, go inside after I get the mail and do that, sit and do that. Um, hopefully Bob doesn't get off too late tonight. He was working until well after 8 p.m. last night talking to, well, not Korea, Vietnam. Um, so yeah, that might be a regular Monday thing for a while. Anyway. <sighs> okay, so I'm glad I went walking yesterday morning because we didn't get any walking done last night. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. Did I get yesterday's missing mail? Because Nope. Uh, no, I did that. So, that's not good. All right, I'll be back. Okay, Bob is done with work, and it's not eight o'clock at night. Go figure. It's also not dark yet. Nope. But that's how you know spring is coming. It's about 5.45 p.m., and if we were in the dead of winter, it'd be dark outside already. <laughs> Anyway, if you hear that, that's the airplane. We are sort of on the flight path to PDX, kind of. Anyway, we're going to go for a walk and get some steps in. I'll be back. Wednesday, March, oh, holy cow, hold on, March something, I don't know, March 9th, it is just about 11.30 a.m., so just before lunch, and um, I did a couple of journal pages already this morning, both of whom I really, really love the way they turned out. I did this one, and I did this one, the papers in the background of both have been made with some art foamies, not mine, designs, somebody else's. Anyway, the art foamies website is linked down below. Um, I also started, if you're watching this clip, you saw the clip of me working on the easel and painting the background. I got this handmade modern magnetic canvas frame thing um, at Target a long time ago. I think I've had it since before COVID, I think. I think it was like on a clearance aisle or something. And anyway, it came with this flat piece of primed canvas. And then it came with a top and bottom piece um, to hang it by. 
and you sandwich the canvas between these pieces of wood, which have magnets on them. Can I open it one-handed is the question because the magnets are like ooh, super strong. So they have magnets and you like put them together with that canvas in between. Anyway, you get the idea. So there's this one for the bottom and then this one for the top. Um, I finally decided to take it out and paint it and I have a photo in mind to be inspired by. That's just the first layer. The photo is that one right there. So we'll see how it turns out. Anyway, I did that, answered some YouTube questions and all of that stuff. Did some bookkeeping, confirmed my therapy appointment for tomorrow. All of that jazz. Um, hello, everybody. It is just after lunchtime on Thursday, March 10th. Obviously, we're in the car. <laughs> Um, I haven't gotten a whole lot done today. I had uh, sort of a late sleep in, which I'm okay with, um, and um, then a counseling appointment. So I did all the normal checking on social media, answering of questions, all of that jazz before my counseling appointment. had my bone broth. I haven't had lunch yet. I need to run to the grocery store really quick. We're doing family dinner night tomorrow, but we're doing it at one of the kids' house, so, which is great. Um, but we need to bring a couple of things, and so I'm going to go run out and get them. I'm not going to do all the grocery shopping. I'm just going to get some stuff for tomorrow. We'll do the rest of the grocery shopping on Saturday. And yeah. So then after lunch, I'll see about getting some art done and do some more art therapy. Um, my counselor is very happy where I'm going with that and how I'm progressing. I'm doing pretty well, I think, and I'm learning how to cope. It's not going to go away ever, but I can learn how to cope with it and deal with it and handle things in a healthier manner and be kinder to myself, which is all the goal. So anyway... We're gonna go run just to Safeway really quick. I don't really like shopping at Safeway, but it's close. It's a little too far to walk. At least back with a bag full of groceries. So on a, on a knee that's not super great all the time. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Once we got past the morning round of counseling, phone calls, bill paying, because again, in case I didn't say, Monday's mail got lost somewhere. There were bills in there that needed to be paid. So anyway, took care of all that, answered some phone calls. Uh, forgot something at the grocery store. I had to make a quick trip to the grocery store, as y'all know, for family dinner night tomorrow, but I forgot one thing. Told the kids, said, I can go back after I eat the lunch, but I need to eat lunch. One of the kids said, Jenny said, don't worry about it, mom. I gotta go to the store anyway tonight. I'll get it. She's such a sweetheart. They all are. Anyway, and then I ate lunch and you know what? I just sat my butt on the couch. Of course, there's no mail. This doesn't mean we're not supposed to get any. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so I've just been relaxing, did some laundry and some dishes. It is brighter than snot out there. Can y'all see that? Right there, there's sun right there, right there. It's really bright. Anyway, Bob has Masonic Lodge tonight, so we won't go walking, or at least I won't go walking after dark uh, by myself. I don't do that. I am brave, but I am not that brave. Anyway, um, will I go walking now? I don't know, I have to think about it. All right, I'm gonna get a picture, I'll be back. I am wearing my new Duluth Trading Company cargo pants. And they are loaded with pockets. They are stretchy, so they're comfy. And I don't have to bring a handbag. It's so one thing COVID has gotten me out of doing is bringing a handbag. I love my handbag collection and I'm not getting rid of it, but I don't use them that much anymore. I would rather be hands-free and not have a bag. 
and I love the idea of women's cargo pants. So, yeah. Uh, if these work out the way I think they're going to, I'm going to be buying a couple more pair because, yeah, they're not cheap, but they should last. Anyway, and I'm quite a few sizes smaller than I think I am, so there's that. Anyway, we have a new cat in the family. Jenny and Brian got a cat. Jenny is our adopted daughter, former daycare baby, FYI for those that don't know, and lifetime childhood friend of my daughter. They grew, literally grew up together. Anyway, she and her husband Brian got a cat, so we're going over there tonight for dinner. And just like we do with Lily quite often, where we bring her toys, Lily is the grand dog that our daughter Rebecca and her husband Polly's have. Anyway, we're gonna bring Biscuit, cat's name, a toy. So there's also a visiting baby at their house. So I'm going to go get the baby. It's a one-year-old little girl. One-year-old is she just before one. Anyway, I'm going to go get her a little stuffy or something. So we will do both of those things this morning. Before we do anything else today, we'll get that done. Colonoscopy is on Tuesday, and while I'm uh, nervous isn't the right word, um, I guess nervous. I'm not super like anxious about it. I'm dreading it, of course, not because it's painful. I just, you know, you want them to find nothing. And every time I've had one, I've had two, <laughs> they find polyps. They're benign, but I mean. So anyway, we'll see what happens. I, my anxiety is not off the charts about it, which is way different than normal. And I did print one more um, copy of the calming technique I spoke of in last week's vlog and printed it kind of small and put it in my wallet. So it's in my pocket right now. Uh, I talked to my counselor about it. She agreed with me that was a good idea to have that with me, so I do. Anyway, that is it for the minute. I'm trying to get around all the road construction and stuff. I will be back. Good morning, everybody. Obviously, we're in the car. It we is. Are? Uh, yeah, I think that's where we're at. It's. 10 27 a.m. Saturday, March 11th. Yes. March 11th. We are out running errands. We were at Costco, which is a big box wholesale place in the U.S. For those that don't know, um, we are going to pop over to um, Rebecca and Polly's house. Polly's is working on a old Mustang, and we want to see. We, um, he was talking about some of the progress he's made on the car, so we're going to go see that today. And then we have to go to the hardware store and the grocery store and try to find a reasonable place to fill up the car with gasoline, which I don't think there is such a thing right now, but we're going to do our, our best to try. Anyway, we'll take you with us where we can, where is interesting. I'll be back. This is future Gina here, I guess, and reviewing the video footage for last week's vlog, which I need to edit this morning. I either forgot to film a closing segment or thought I was filming, but the camera wasn't on. Just something that happened. I do this occasionally. It's all right up there with not knowing exactly what day it is. So, you know. Anyway, uh, it was an interesting week. <laughs> as usual with the decade of strangeness, but you know, it's all good. And um, this coming week, we've got some stressful, maybe interesting things coming up. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be kind, be safe, be healthy, be creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.